So what are virtual machines? A virtual machine is like a computer running inside your computer. You can create as many virtual machines as you like. Basically, a virtual machine is an operating system which is virtualized or simulated inside your computer. So basically, for running a virtual machine, you need a special program. So I will explain you through a flowchart. Basically, there are virtual machines which we want to create. And for creating a virtual machine, we require a software called as a hypervisor. And what is a hypervisor? So hypervisor is a piece of software that runs and it provides a suitable environment for a virtual machine to run. It basically separates and allocates the hardware resources for the virtual machine. Basically, there are two types of hypervisors. Broadly speaking, the first one is called type 1 and the second is called type 2. If you have been familiar with virtual machines, you must have heard of VirtualBox or VMware. And you might have heard about this. This is called QMEU. It runs on Linux and it's like a, the faster type 2 hypervisor. So basically type 2 hypervisors are a uh, software that you install on top of a host operating system. These are like a program that you download from the internet and install. Basically these are used by the normal people like you and me. And there are also type 1 hypervisors. Type 1 hypervisors are like running directly on your hardware. You don't require any operating system running on your hardware like Windows or Linux. You install it as an operating system and it has full access of the hardware and it's like mostly using server farms or some enthusiast home lab scenarios. So basically you might have heard of Proxmox. Proxmox is an open source type 1 hypervisor solution which is available for everyone for free. And another one is VMware ESXi. Basically, these are mostly run on server farms. So these are the two. So today we will be going over type 2 hypervisors in this video, right? So I will be installing and going over the setup process of Oracle's VirtualBox. So here I am on VirtualBox website. So basically you click on the download VirtualBox button. And here is a download page. Uh, depending on the host operating system the current operating system you are running uh, you will have to download i am running windows so i will download the windows one so it's downloading so yeah it has been downloaded i will open it so it's asking for permission allow and basically you have to install it like every other software that you install on your system go through the setup process quickly allow 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 next and basically you have to click on install and it will install right now i am not installing because i already have virtual box installed i think yeah so for you you have to install it right yeah so after installing open it it will be like this please ignore these two virtual machines for you it will be empty right so right now we will create a virtual machine so for creating a virtual machine click on the new choose a name for your virtual machine select the path where you want to save the files i will just choose this this and this right so now you have to select an ISO image. Uh, if you don't know about ISO image, they are like basically the installer for your operating system. So basically you have to find ISO files for the operating system you want to install on your virtual machine. If you want Windows, you type Windows 10 ISO and you will get to the download page. Right. For Linux, you can do the same uh, Ubuntu ISO and you will get right. So after you have downloaded, choose that ISO file. So see here, it's the windows.iso on my downloads folder. It will automatically select the type and the version. 
uh, I prefer to skip the unattended installation for Windows Lite because I think it causes some errors for me yeah it causes some errors so I advise you to like skip it click next uh, allocate uh, the system RAM for your virtual machine I like to give it 4 GB right and a processor so at least give two cores and if you have like many cores like 12 you can give it like four next um, also it depends upon the operating system that you are running on your virtual machine if it's Linux like a lightweight some lightweight distribution of Linux you can like uh, decrease this so you have to create a virtual hard disk this will take up space from your main hard disk and give it to the virtual machine click on next click on finish and yeah we have created the virtual machine basically but there is no operating system currently installed we have to install the windows we will double click to open it and you can see it's powering up we will wait so yeah as you can see it's like booting up exactly like it happens on the real hardware so yeah it takes about two to three minutes to get to the setup screen we will wait so yeah here's the official windows setups experience all right click next install so i don't have a product key click the addition i will copy with windows 10 home click on new apply ok so these are the standard windows installation steps the virtual machines is isolated from the your host system the one which i am running right so if you want to do like testing like say for example you have a file and you want to test whether it's malicious or not instead of opening that file in your host machine and infecting it you can run it on a virtual machine so because the files typically cannot escape the virtual machines environment you can run it safely also if you want to like try a new operating system test out the new linux distribution you can do so basically these are the two main use cases and so we will wait for the installation so basically the installation has been completed i have set up the user accounts everything and i have uh, rebooted the system so it will boot straight into my user account let's see so yeah there's uh, one caveat to running virtual machines so the performance that you get inside of this virtual machine that we have created uh, would be much less than the performance that you will see inside the host operating system it's like a pretty straightforward region because you are running a host system inside of this host system you are running apps and then you are running a hypervisor it will take up resources and on top of that you are running the virtual machine yes it will take up resources here I am logging into my account so basically uh, what is the benefit of running a virtual machine as I have told you you can do anything here also and this host system will not care so this is uh, pretty so yeah this is the main benefit or you can call it this is the magic of running a virtual machine you can start up a browser as you can see the internet has al already been connected so basically this is the same uh, internet that your host system is using basically it's a network bridge attached by the oracle virtual box and it will so as connected so yeah everything has been set up and you can do whatever you wanted to do inside the, this vm and also if you like mess up this virtual machine you can just create a new one or you can also take up backups 
you can create pair of backups or snapshots in this case so if you like uh, mess up your system you can restore it so yeah that's basically all about virtual machines and let me know if you have any questions post them in the comments box and i will see you bye